North Korea and money delete. If these two words together sound like a paradox, then you haven't heard the latest news about North Korea. According to the Wall Street Journal, the light of capitalism is currently rising within North Korea. Let's take a look at the report done by the Center for Strategic and International Studies, also known as CSIS, and the defector run North Korea Development Institute think tank. North Korea's socialist distribution system began to collapse as aid was cut off following the dissolution of the Soviet Union. Going through a famine in the 1990s, not a single market existed in North Korea at the time. But the new report counts 436 officially sanctioned markets now, which has doubled from a decade ago. Both official and unofficial marketplaces selling goods, food, and medicine are keep on growing. And there are people who operate on this ever-increasing market network. They are called Tunju or Money Masters. Tunju is an emerging capitalist who accumulated wealth through trade and tourism. Yes, the private enterprise is illegal under North Korean law, but businesses with links to state-owned enterprises have allowed the Tunju to prosper. So the expanding network of markets in North Korea is serving as a vital cog in its leader Kim Jong-un's mission to revive the economy. But would that be the case even in the long term? As the market network became active in North Korea, the money elite emerged as a new class, became more intelligent, powerful, and wealthy to the point where the regime cannot ignore. They also serve as a relatively stable source of income for North Korea under pressure from the international community. Now, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has to walk on a tight rope controlling the money elites and also to make them finance in market activities and development plans. This influential demographic's private interests will eventually clash with those of a government that is not prepared to lose in political authority. And that could ultimately lead to Kim's dilemma. North Korea also appears to have tried to mine some cryptocurrencies. According to the report by a research unit of South Korea state-run Korea Development Bank, a North Korean technology firm named Joseon Expo is developing and selling a market exchange platform for Bitcoin. As you can see, North Korea is rapidly moving toward a global economic trend. But still, the easiest way for Kim Jong-un to achieve his economic mission might just be a nuclear negotiation with the US, as the Wall Street Journal also suggested.